is all over the back of Hamilton, who once again forces in the long way round. And again. Albon again, no, with Lewis Hamilton. And the podium that looked a certainty has been wiped out in a matter of seconds. This guy is such a salute. So is that Hamilton's fault once again, as he accepted blame and took blame in Brazil? I felt like Brazil was a bit more 50-50. I, I felt like I did the move already. Yeah. A really unfortunate scenario with Alex. I mean, I can't believe we've come together again. That's Someone's a had a shot. very, very big crash, and it's Danny Kvyat in the Alpha Towery. And I, I hope he's OK. Oh, guys, I'm so... Sorry. Are you okay, Danny? Yes. Yeah, that's a big impact. Luckily, the safety cell is pretty mighty on a Formula One car these days. Yeah, right rear tyre puncture. I didn't uh, expect that. I was having a great race. It's very, very disappointing, to be honest, but it's, uh, that's life. Okay, go for it, go for it, go for it. Look at this little battle, Charles, Charles Leclerc. Charles Leclerc locks up on Sergio Perez. He was trying a move to get second place in this race. Perez comes back at him. Sebastian Vettel comes back at Charles Leclerc. Sergio Perez, for the third time in his Formula One career, can see the second checkered flag and take second place in a race. And Charles Leclerc, who had the podium in his sights, has to settle for fourth. P4, P4, slow button on. Did a good job, really good. Job. No, I did a job. I did a job. Okay. Did I did a job. I did a job. That's it. I did a job. I am so sorry to the whole team. I am stupid. Now we're on board with Giovinazzi Wall, and that you can see George Russell trying to get out of the way, but I don't think he I, hit Giovinazzi. I think no, he, he did. I think already. he was already going off. I'm okay. There's nowhere I could go, guys. Wonderful to see both drivers climbing out of the cockpit. Look up there as Perez is caught by Charles Leclerc and his three cars gone off at turn four. Yeah, I couldn't do anything there. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm out. Max Verstappen breaks really early there. It was Perez oh. turning in on the Ferrari and they collected Verstappen. I, I saw Sergio on the outside, but I was expecting him to, to stay on the outside of uh, Bottas, that was. Uh, but, uh, but he actually, I think he wanted to cross the line and when I saw that, it was basically too late already, so. When you're just trying to survive and that the first few corners when everyone ar around you is just being so aggressive, it's just... Uh, yeah, really annoying also, annoying that the car was quite racy. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, very frustrating. Perez goes even faster out in front and is on provisional pole. Here comes Lance Stroll. Can he dislodge his teammate Sergio Perez from pole position? Stroll crosses the line and he does go pole. 147.7. Lance Stroll is on pole for the first time in his career. Yes, boys! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> yes! What a qualifying session that was! And for Lance Stroll in his 75th race in Formula One, takes pole position. Hamilton then comes into the pits. Pierre Gasly for Alpha Tauri in their home race leads the Italian Grand Prix. Carlos, you can be patient with Raikkonen. You can be patient. Oh, right, worry, about Gasly. One at a time, Carlos. One at a time. Well, here comes the first one. Carlos Sainz is going for it with Kimi Raikkonen, who gives him enough space and just enough space. And Sainz moves up into second place. OK, we have Sainz behind us now. Sainz behind us. Very good driving from these young drivers, especially Gasly under so much pressure. Carlos, you're second. No mistakes. Just keep it really clinical. I want this win, Tom. After being replaced in his Red Bull seat by Alex Albon, he started 17th there, he finished 11th. He could go and win this yet today. Last lap, one more lap. Pierre Gasly wins the Italian Grand Prix! Oh my, oh my, is that 
just wonderful. Oh my god. What did you do? do? What did you do? Did you do? And it is, what, an 80th Grand Prix win, I think, for a French driver. The first is Olivier Panis. P2, I know you wanted the win, but you're P2, buddy. That's a really good result. But you've been great all weekend. You've been great all weekend and made up for that red flag. Great work, mate. Yeah, I don't know what to do now for the break. Hi. I struggle to realize what's happening. I know it's, it's been such a crazy ride in the last 18 months and yeah today we are an uh, Italian Grand Prix race winner and uh, you know I just want to thank all the, all the people uh, who helped me to, to make that possible. That is Lewis Hamilton and he's got tyre problems as well. This is the last lap, you've got 20 seconds to the stacking. This is now Lewis Hamilton praying that the chequered flag comes as soon as is humanly possible. The gap between Hamilton and Verstappen going down all the time. Verstappen just going through chapel. Can we win this? If you get on with it. If you get on with it, it's the right instruction through the Vale chicane. Look how difficult it was to stop. But for Lewis Hamilton, the chequered flag will come in the nick of time for a seventh British Grand Prix victory and a record seventh British Grand Prix victory for the most wins at home. It's Lewis Hamilton. Is that the last lap? That's it, mate. You've done it. You've done it. What an extraordinary, it was a bit of a slow burn that race. <laughs> what an extraordinary end. The one of the most horrible feelings uh, is hearing someone catch you that lap and get overtaken just before the line or something. With them on support, we managed to bring it home. The safety car has gone, the lights gone green, and Bottas is away, and there's a big crash at the back, and that is the Alfa Romeo. The Haas of Kevin Magnussen that rather started that because he was going that much slower and then the McLaren goes into the back. Oh my God, if you're okay. That's dangerous. Well, that, that looked very nasty indeed from the cockpit of Romain Grosjean. That was stupid for whoever was at the front. They want to kill us or what? This is the worst thing I've seen ever. I think the leader was always going to try and go as late as possible, um, just to avoid the, the slipstream effect. You know, when you're in the midfield to the back of the pack, the Constantino effect always kind of makes it a bit more difficult to judge. Just after lap one, uh, I had a good again, uh, you know, I was back uh, up to P14 and after that, you know, everything could happen, but yeah, just uh, really dangerous things, so we need to, we need to check what, uh, what we, can, uh, we can change on this. And a big fire there as they exited out of turn three. And that looks very nasty indeed. And unsurprisingly, that is a red flag. Is he okay? What's going on there? Out of the car, Romain Grosjean, uh, which is just the best news that we all want to hear at the moment. This is after turn three. And you see Grosjean, uh, one car out there, and then Grosjean to the right-hand side. No wonder the fuel came out of it. Yeah. I said the fuel was in the middle of the car. Wow, and there's Roman That's Grosjean. Unbelievable. Jumping as fast as he can uh, over the, uh, the barrier. There were three people on the other side of the barrier. I'm happy. Happy to be alive. Happy to see you. Happy to talk to you. Happy to meet people. Just happy to breathe air. To be here.